if you're going to look at a cause, and you know, the type of medicine we practice is to treat causes, not necessarily symptoms, it is a hypothalamic probably cause to aging. And the trans detropin, you're actually correcting a cause and not just putting a band-aid on a symptom. So that's why trans detropin I think is so powerful in hormonal balancing. The benefits that I've seen with trans detropin in my clinical practice is again in compliance and a decrease in symptoms overall. I think whenever time you uh, give a patient a hormone, you risk certain side effects from the hormone being excessive. I think with the current scare of breast cancer at this point in time, a lot of women shy away from hormones in general. Trans detropin has a very large margin of safety that I think most of them feel comfortable with. The safety factor of trans detropin, first of all, you're using uh, nutritional supplementation and you don't have any uh, uh, carcinogenic or mitogenic properties in this. So again, you're treating a cause and not a symptom and you're starting at the level of the brain. So this adds a, a whole margin of safety. And again, you know, we know the individual elements that are in the trans detropin and they have a long track record of being safe. For another physician to use trans in his clinical practice, I think first of all he might want to try it on himself to see how he feels on it. I think to go about it uh, uh, starting on several patients, see how they respond, understand you know, how to use the trans detropin, and then feel satisfied that he's getting the, the type of results that he wants. But I start off using it uh, you know, on selected patients and then work my way in as I felt more comfortable to it. And I said, you have to be satisfied yourself with the product and a lot of times trying it on yourself you'll see a difference.